guys my name is Glenn and welcome to my youtube channel if it's your first time here and if it's not welcome back today's episode was actually one that I actually couldn't decide on whether to put out this video or not because to be honest today's video is just mainly about me moving to a new place and yeah I was like there isn't really much to talk about in my opinion but but because I have this weird uh, attachment to things and this include my house and I feel like like even though it's only been a year and a half it's kind of sad to actually leave this place but yeah so basically that's what this video is about and so the story is that since I will probably be here for another two to three years I was thinking that I should probably find a much cheaper place to live in and this place is actually really comfortable and I actually enjoy it. I wouldn't mind spending another two to three years here. The problem is that in a few years I wouldn't be so sure on whether I would actually be able to receive a scholarship or not. And so yeah I was thinking about different ways I could cut costs here and there and probably the best way would probably be to find a much cheaper place because yeah it's a really like the place that I am living it's comfortable and it's a little bit spacious for me and I don't really enjoy that like I don't particularly dislike having that much space but yeah it's something that I really don't need that extra few spaces which brings me to like like what if I can find a place to live that's way cheaper here and yeah so I did some searching and yeah I found this accommodation system in Japan where it, unlike the standard housing unit for family or for students this is actually uh, an housing this like they're setting a housing area for that's actually owned by the city this kind of housing area is basically it's called Shijutaku which actually translates to municipal housing area and so basically I I'm not so sure about the particulars but I think it's actually a housing area that is subsidized by the government in some sort of way and but yeah so yeah the, the cost of living there is actually pretty cheap and but in order to apply for this sort of housing area I mean you have to like go through a few process and depending on the area it some area might have certain limitations for example like the housing area in this particular prefecture might not allow foreigners to live in but fortunately for me the one near my university is actually kind enough or I or they just I like have a lot of rooms I'm not so sure but yeah I tried applying for it and just a few days I got the message saying that yeah there was actually an, an open room for me if I would like to enter and so yeah I ended up shifting to a new place so yeah this housing even this housing system actually intrigues me because the fact that there are specific criteria to apply for that Shijutaku, that those sort of housing area, and mainly I, in my, uh, from what I've observed, it's actually for people with low income and like, or for those, perhaps single mother or single father, who are having financial problems, and yeah, I, I think this includes students as well. And the rent is actually way cheaper. It's actually half of my current rent, which, yeah, which means that I can actually save on half of the cost of just the rent itself and of course I assume the gas and the water bill will be way cheaper over there since yeah it's actually made for people with low income and yeah so that's that one of the drawbacks of those places is that is those places aren't really well furnished which means that I have to get my own aircon if I really want to I like to actually call for the repair like the maintenance guy to like fix it for me and yeah those sort of other furnitures that would normally be installed in a normal housing unit here in Japan they, yeah those things aren't provided there and also one of the requirement when it comes to living in those Shijutaku is the fact that you actually have to 
be active in their social activities uh, you actually have to spend some time like volunteer to help clean the neighborhood or at least just like make, uh, keeping your housing area clean at in most of the time so yeah they'll be having group cleaning sessions every month or so but yeah i really like the system of providing house for low-income people in exchange for their efforts in trying to keep to keep the environment or the housing area clean and yeah i guess in a way it's a win-win situation but yeah i'll probably make a more detailed video on that in the future if i have the time because yeah things have really been pretty busy for me recently moving here and applying for scholarships and and just you know <laughs> the usual university assignments and all but yeah hopefully i can actually get more video done consistently and yeah i guess i'll leave it at that thank you again guys for listening to this video i'm not sure how much help it was but yeah thank you again guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys Thank you.